Nebraska got back to work here on Thursday as they begin preparations for next Saturday's season opener against Fresno State. Head coach Mike Riley announced some breaking news regarding suspensions for the first game of the year. Riley announced that wide receiver Brandon Riley and safety Nathan Gary are out for game one. I know you've been asking and I thought that I'd go ahead and announce first of all who is going to be suspended for the first game and uh, the names are Brandon Riley and Nate Gary. And of course, uh, the answer to your next question is a violation of team rules. And that's, that's all I can say about that. When asked to elaborate more on Gary's suspension, defensive coordinator Mark Banker said he was very disappointed. I don't think it's frustration. You know, uh, uh, well, I don't know, whatever you call it, you know, uh, you know decision making, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, but it's not, it's not frustration, uh, you know, disappointment to an extent. Uh, I know he, he's disappointed as well, but, uh, you know, this two show pass and, and we go forward again. You, you're now concerned about the guys that, uh, you know, getting, uh, you know, ready and things like that. And, and uh, uh, looking forward to get him back in the fold because, uh, number one, he's a good person. Number two, he's a, a, a good leader and uh, uh, he, uh, he plays his position well. Without Gary in game one, Banker said the Huskers will explore some different options. In our regular personnel, uh, there's a combination of the two Williamses and uh, Antonio Reed. Uh, and uh, I haven't told them uh, specifically as to who will uh, uh, step on the field right now because uh, they're all quite close from a standpoint of, uh, you know, the, the, the order and uh, we graded, we graded uh, the two scrimmages, and also there was a red ball period. So we took it, uh, you know, plus or minus, you know, type of thing on assignments and then also production. Riley also confirmed here on Thursday that freshman wide receiver Darian Grimm is no longer with the team, but at this point he actually doesn't have a scholarship release. You know, the last thing that, I, that he told me last night is he thought at this time, he said it looked more and more like he was going to go to junior college, so he doesn't need a release to do that. As Nebraska now moves forward with their Fresno State defensive preparations, one of the biggest challenges will be handling the tempo and the pace of this Bulldog offense that will like to run uh, play every 10 to 15 seconds. And Nebraska has added practice referees back again. Last year they didn't use them, and it's been a big benefit getting them ready for what they'll see in their season opener. Uh, it's been great, especially we've been doing the, the two-minute stuff and with them spotting the ball and winding the clock and stopping the clock and doing all those things. That, 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 that's, that, that's big time. It's big time. It helps, uh, helps the tempo for the players to see how the tempo of the game is going. You know, it's great. I mean, in, in terms of just, you know, making the field like a yeah, game tempo, you know, where you got, you know, officials in there telling you if you're on sides or you're lined up incorrectly, wherever it may be, spotting the ball, I think it, it's helped us a ton. And, you know, and, and uh, you know, it's for the staff that's been there and done that with Coach Riley. For sophomore defensive tackle Mick Stoltenberg, it's been a long process to get to this point, but he said playing for a guy like John Perella this past year has really gotten him ready coming off the knee injury. Technically better and better with my hands, better pass rush moves, uh, playing with better effort, uh, better pad level with a, like a better stance. I mean, it's pretty hard to pick out a few things because I've, I've definitely gotten better all around as a player since he got here. So Another new face that looks to break out here in this season opener is defensive end Alex Davis. You know what, just to help us, you know, maybe, uh, you know, third down or, or uh, you know, the hone his skills and be able to play, you know, being on first down. You know, he's that kind of kid and, and uh, you know, he's out there, you know, he's staying out to practice today by himself, working with a couple of, you know, the D linemen and, and uh, trying to hone their skills so we can be more consistent on a daily basis. I mean, with just, just the way he just amps us up every day and, and just the technique and stuff that he teaches is, it's just crazy. I mean, I just felt like before I just had speed and I was just working off of just instinct. But now I have a, I know I, I have moves and, and stuff that I, I, I can really do. And yeah. I'm, I'm always thinking about. And finally, a name that's emerged here in this defensive secondary has been redshirt freshman cornerback Eric Lee. Eric Lee. Eric Lee has made the biggest jump this whole fall camp. I, mean, I had a talk with him and he said that, I mean, his mindset going in here was, you know, it's time to, time to strap it up, it's time to go. So. I mean, that's one guy that I thought really made a big start this whole fall camp. The Huskers now have just seven practices until next week's season opener against Fresno State. With the Huskers here in Lincoln, I'm Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com.